What up, y'all? It's me. I'm back. Nate Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, right? A.k.a. the new dawn of Power Theory videos. I'm back with another Power Book 3. Raising Kane in Season 3 Theory. Let's talk about Marvin and all of the problems he's going to be facing over the next two to three episodes. Because Marvin Loki is going to be going through a whole lot of problems, right? And the only person who's going through as many problems as him is Marvin, okay? Let's talk about Marvin, Emo, who let us all down, let us all down, okay? He's acting very light-skinned. And let's talk about Gerald and how Marvin will end up violating Gerald and Demo and killing them both very viciously. They will bring out the old angry Marvin from season one. They're going to do it. And, and being that, you know, the anger management class and everything is over, being that Marvin's going to face a lot more hardships, he's going to have to deal with a lot, you know, police investigation and everything. We may not see Good Samaritan Martin, I mean Marvin, the same Marvin who came and and possibly saved Gerald's life. You know what I mean? The same person who who did his breathing exercise. Y'all do it with me right now. You know, you gotta do the hands with it and everything, right? The same person did his breathing exercise to keep from, you know, kicking Demo's ass, which ultimately led to his life being saved by a person who will be exposed as a snitch and Howard's former informant, right? We may not see this Marvin come back, which will ultimately lead to his demise. They're going to bring old, angry, vicious, savage, and foolish, making sloppy mistakes Marvin back. Let's talk about it, all right? All right? So, going back to episode five, we already seen a little tiny glimpse where we seen the distaste in Marvin's face when he's eating with Gerald and Gerald is like, yeah, I'll do, I'll do a, an, an article for your daughter. Yes. Uh, uh, it went along the lines of something like, he named it like lesbian black girl <laughs> from the hood and poverty tries to make it big as a singer or something like that, right? From the wrong tracks, right? <laughs> and your man Marvin was like, hold on, my daughter's not from no tracks or anything like that. We from Queens, nigga. We from Queens, the St. Detroit or whatever, whatever. I don't, I'm from New York. I don't know where, you know, towns have a whole bunch of train tracks that ain't like a subway, right? So, very likely, me and I, we seen a picture of Marvin having that pissed off face in what appears to be Gerald's office, being that in that same picture, right? Gerald's big bald head is in the background. Pause, by the way, right? Cameron, pause. Cameron, I mean, right? Gerald's big head, right? It's safe to assume that Marvin is at least gonna punch this guy in the face. The last time we seen Marvin that angry, right? Right? Unique almost died and his son. It's very likely we're going to see this, okay? Gerald is going to put the wrong kind of article up or something. Or Marvin is going to catch the dudes who tried to hold Gerald up in the hotel in his office or something. Something's going to happen. It's probably going to have something to do with jukebox. Marvin's going to violate Gerald. He's going to catch a nigga outside of work. He's going to do him bad. It's going to be bad for him. And the biggest thing he got to deal with, right? Until bigger things arise, which are going to be caused by Rock. <laughs> Rock's ruining everyone. She, she's ruining everyone's life, by the way. Just like her mother Joyce ruined her and her brother's lives, right? Demo sits down, talks to Detective Tanner, Reveals that he's doing a favor for Howard. 
because Howard did a favor for him back in the day, which could only mean keeping him out of jail because Howard's a cop. What other favor would Howard do for him, right? Tanner's going to be looking into that, okay? Somehow, some way, maybe through Howard, maybe Howard finds out because Tanner goes and questions Howard about it, which leads Howard to run in the rock or find Marvin on his own and be like, yo, Demo, Demo talk too much. You got to save yourself, which will save the rest of us. Demo got to go, okay? Or it'll be from a crooked federal cop. I believe that there will be a federal cop that's crooked, pop about the woodwork. It's either going to be Tanner or his partner, maybe his partner, right? Marvin will have to deal with the fact that he just killed, right? A major New Jersey mob boss, right? With Demo being his getaway driver. Demo, who clearly has loose lips, okay? When Marvin finds this out, he's going to be infuriated. Infuriated. And there's a chance that Demo gives some incriminating information about Marvin because he's clearly, he will easily crack. He damn near all the way cracked based off of basic interrogation. He revealed by mistake information that did not need to be said. So imagine when Tanner and them put the real pressure on him, right? He's gonna sing like a fucking canary. When Marvin finds out about this, he will be irate. And if he don't feel like doing a breathing exercise, once he figures all this stuff out, it's a chance that we will not see the calm Marvin we all grew to love over the last season and a half, right? Maybe Jukebox will be able to calm him down, but here's the thing, right? If Jukebox up and goes to military school in the middle of this, who's gonna calm him down? No one was around him more than, more than Rock, Who's gonna who's gonna encourage him to be any kind of evil if it benefits her? And jukebox, who could talk some sense into him, but she may be at military school. So that ultimately means that Marvin is gonna get back on Demon Time, back on Black Air Force mode, and he's gonna have to deal with this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.